live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 6 p.m. Now at 6, a bomb scare at the Griffith Park Observatory forces everyone to evacuate for the second time this week. Good evening, I'm Suzanne Marquez. And I'm Peter Dowd. CBS 2's Chris Holmstrom is live at the observatory to show us what is going on. Chris? Peter and Suzanne, there were hundreds of people out here during that evacuation. So as you can imagine, pretty intense for some people. But as you can see right now, everything is clear. It is back open. But take a look at this. Authorities tell us around 1240 this afternoon, they got a call about a suspicious package in the area. When they arrived, they found a package on the outside of the building. Well, the bomb squad was called out along with the bomb dog. And after hours of searching, the package was deemed safe. Now, here's what witnesses had to say about the scare. They evacuated everybody from the building, everybody from the building, told everybody to get out around 1240 around there is when it happened. We were trying to go see the observatory to take the kids to explore and they wanted to look at the museum and well there was, it was all blocked off and some, I think the way in was a one way and it was coming out so we couldn't get in. And as we mentioned, this is the second time Griffith Observatory had to evacuate this week. On Tuesday, a fire burned more than 25 acres, also damaging cars. And the observatory just opened back up today. And back out here live, you can see the visitors are back out to enjoy the observatory. Reporting live from Griffith Observatory, I'm Chris Holmstrom, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Chris. A firefighter was killed today battling a wildfire near Yosemite National Park. 36-year-old Braden Varney was operating a bulldozer to create a fire break when the dozer rolled over. Crews have not been able to retrieve his body yet. Varney is survived by his wife and two young children. Governor Brown has ordered flags at the state capitol building in Sacramento to be flown at half-staff in his honor. You're looking at a live picture where the flags were lowered just a few minutes ago. The so-called Ferguson fire has burned at least 130 acres on the west end of the park and the Sierra National Forest. It's 5% contained right now. It's also closed Highway 140 between Mid Pines and El Portal. Concerns over flooding on the streets of Newport Beach tonight after king tides flooded the Balboa Peninsula last week. Our temperatures were so hot they sent some people to the hospital after they went to the coast, including here in Long Beach, and there could be dangerous conditions at some other beaches tonight. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live at Newport Beach to show us why. Summer sun and surf and mild temperatures is the perfect combination. It's beautiful out. Newport Beach packed today. We love the 80 degree weather. But it's all about to change, starting with this tolerable tide, which could turn dangerous late tonight. It happens every year. Orange County is under a coastal flood advisory. Charlie Moss works here. He has to keep track of the tides. He said Wednesday's was the highest tide of the year. Our highest tide was seven foot one inches, and I think it's going to be a, a six nine tide tonight. And tonight could be a summer rerun. You see, Wednesday night, the fun zone in Balboa turned into a flood zone. Out here, it was curb high. We got the harbor on one side, the beach on the other side. When the tide comes up, it's kind of a, it's a mix of disaster, really. There are pumps to ship that water back where it belongs, but sandbags were no match Wednesday. Water just came in with such force, it went up and over this barrier. Dayside on the beach side of Balboa, people here escaping the sizzling summer temperatures we endured all last week. Rafael Orvelas lives in Corona. Well, it was about 116 degrees. I was in Woodland Hills last Monday, hotter than Phoenix, where Marquita Alexander lives. 117 that day, and you guys were not anywhere near us. So no. We got ours on the weather. Okay. Well, it's a, it's a nice to shift it to somebody else for once. Get set. The heat is on again this coming week. Ready for another round of, of strong, hot temperatures? No, not really. Yeah. Well, let me not tell you really. something else. It's going to be humid, too. Oh, wow. But tonight, the concern here is high tide and flood warnings, just like they had last Wednesday. Wednesday was crazy. Uh, tonight should, uh, shouldn't be as bad, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Everything looks great right now. The big concern is tonight. High tide is at 10.50 p.m., and they are definitely ready, but worried about what could happen again. In Newport Beach, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. A snorkeler died in Laguna Beach today after lifeguards pulled him from the water. They did CPR on Brian Riggs of Aliso Viejo. And at one point, he was in full cardiac arrest. He was flown to the hospital but did not survive. Oh, how sad. Mm. 
Temperatures cooled a bit today, but it's still very warm out there. CBS2 meteorologist Marquina Brown joins us live in studio with our first forecast, Marquina. Hey there, Suzanne. Yeah, definitely not the heat of last week, but still very hot nonetheless. Taking a look at the satellite radar composite, you can see got a lot of activity here a little bit east of us. That is monsoonal moisture. We'll get into that as we head toward the middle of the week. We'll talk about that coming up. But bottom line, it is going to be all about the heat and dry air for us now. And that story is going to change because we are going to add in humidity and eventually monsoonal moisture to the mix. Taking a look at some temperatures outside right now, you go to downtown, you got 79 degrees, lots of sunshine and 87 in the OC. And the folks in the Inland Empire are in the 90s and there are some clouds out there. So again, we've got changing weather coming our way. Bottom line, get ready for humidity. We'll talk about how hot it's going to feel on the skin coming up in just a little bit. Back to you. Thanks, Marquina. The Beverly Hills Police Department is mourning the loss of its former canine officer. It posted this picture of Jinx on its Facebook page. He lost his battle yesterday with Cushing's disease, which is a common endocrine disorder for dogs. Jinx served from 2009 to 2014 and was trained exclusively to find drugs. Passengers on a chartered bus were jolted awake early this morning when their bus flipped in downtown L.A. They were returning from a San Diego casino when the bus smashed through barrels of sand at the interchange of the 10 and 110 freeways. CBS 2's Joy Benedict spoke with a photographer who joined the rescue effort. Is anyone trapped in here? It was a call for help inside an overturned bus. Some passengers trapped. Help me get up. And diesel fuel was leaking. No, there's gas in the car, sir. Come on, everyone, start moving out. Outside the bus, the scene felt surreal to many who stopped as passengers who could walk came out bleeding and disoriented, not sure what happened. I don't know really what happened because we were asleep. Like a train rolled over, right? Fast, man. It was four in the morning. A private bus heading to LA from Paula Casino in San Diego County crashed on the 10 freeway downtown. It slammed through 18 barrels of sand in the concrete barrier before flipping on its side. 33 people, including the driver, were on board. I see a bus just tilted and just dragged across the whole highway. Good Samaritans driving by stopped to help, trying to rescue trapped passengers. I saw a lot of people there injured, broken bones. They're really bad. But the voice you hear on this video. I'll help him. I'll help him out. Sir. I'll help him out so you can move on. Grab my arm, sir. Is the person shooting it. Scott Lane is a news stringer, a freelance photographer who was nearby. This is him running up to the scene. But when he he realizes the situation. He puts his camera down and runs onto the bus. I've been doing this long enough where I just feel helpless. If you can do something, do something. And so he did. And once help arrived, he picked up his camera again. Everybody was helping everybody. It was great. 25 passengers were transported to the hospital, but all are expected to survive. The 10 freeway was shut down in the westbound direction for most of the morning, but eventually crews righted the bus and towed it away. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News. Wow. Mm. Serena Williams goes for a record Grand Slam title at Wimbledon. See if she got it later in the newscast. Also, you can now see just how far firefighting has come with exhibits at a new local museum. Plus, a different way to help LA's homeless. See how this fair is giving them some much needed resources. And a miracle survival coming up next. A woman on a road trip to Southern California is found a week after she went over a cliff. Wow.